actually hear the rain. Like as soon as I just sat down, it's the lashing rain. Stay positive, okay. My hair is a little crazy, but today I just wanted to do like a get ready with me. I'm just going out with my cousins and stuff, like just a small thing, but I do want to do kind of a cool makeup look. I'm gonna revolve it around this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip lacquer that I got, and it's in the shade Insomniac. I don't know if that, is that focused? I think it's focused. I'm just gonna use my ordinary moisturizer, I have to just go back to this. I tried out the Pestle and Mortar one. Didn't like it. The texture is really like light. It doesn't last very long. Compared to this, it's like that bit thicker. It kind of grips onto your skin. So it almost like feels like a primer. Like it, you can feel your makeup like grips onto it. So I've been using like the same products for quite a while and I just want to go back to some old stuff and I got some new stuff as well. So we're going to try all those out in this video. Um, this one is the Nivea Pulse Shave Balm. This is something I used to use all the time like two years ago. So I normally use my Clarins SOS primer but we're going to give this a try again today. Um, yes it is for post shaving for men but it's already 2020. We're all the same. So it's okay. We are all one. And it feels like sticky, so like the makeup grips onto it. It's also like so cooling on your skin and oh I just love it. No, I did hear someone had a reaction to it before. I was um working in a pharmacy at the time and someone was like, oh they had a reaction. I was like, ooh. Then for foundation today, I am going in with my favorite foundation ever which is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour like nothing compares to this like I've tried a lot of high-end and I do love some high-end ones like NARS, YSL and MAC as well like they're kind of in the middle but if you need a good drugstore foundation this is unreal it's like a full medium to full coverage um, it gives a really nice, like when you pump it out, it does look quite thick or something. But when it's on, like it's so smooth. So I'm just going to do two pumps of that. And this is in the say, shade 36 Warm Sun. Um, and then I'm going to mix some of my MAC Stroke Cream in with that as well. Okay, so that's just kind of the amount that I have on my hand. And then I'm just going to take my finger and just pop it everywhere. I might even need that. Um, I'm just going to take my Real Techniques um, Beauty Blender and just blend that. So that is the foundation applied. Okay, so now I'm just going to be taking this L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. And this is in shade 326 Vanilla. This is meant to be a dupe for Terp Shape Tape apparently. Never try Terp Shape Tape, but I am hoping on trying it soon because, and actually yeah, this would be a good topic to talk about. Um, oh, that's bright. I love a good bright under eye though. Like, live for it. So I'm gonna try it just underneath my eyes first to see how it like, um, how it works. Uh, so I am going to America, to Vegas and LA in three months and to say I'm grateful for that would be an understatement. Like every time that I feel like I have a bad day or anything I'm just like I'm going to Vegas in three months and the reason I'm going is because I got meet and greet tickets for Lady Gaga and I've been trying to get those since I was say like I've been trying to get them since I was like 13 but I've loved her since I was like nine um yeah like I am just so excited but I do want to go to Sephora while I'm there because I'm doing two days in Vegas and then four in LA um, because I just think I want to see LA as a place. I know it's meant to be kind of crappy, but I still want to go there. Why is there... It feels like there's dirt in my concealer. I don't know, maybe it's just my face. <laughs> um, and then... Okay, I'm just going to do a line. So normally you do your bronzer from the lip 
to the ear but I'm just going to bring this underneath then as like a highlight um can't wait to see how this works on my skin um yeah I like the way it blends out anyways but um yeah if there's any products that like you think I should try please let me know because like stuff that you can't get in Ireland um Tarte Shape Tape definitely Marc Jacobs I think you can get it somewhere in Ireland but probably not going to be in that place I'm more likely to be in Vegas um I want to try out the Marc Jacobs foundation eyeliners concealer all those um yeah so Eva Lux cheek brush and normally I would use this for foundation but I'm just going to blend everything out because I am very pale right now and this might have been a bad call to use this all over taking my favourite um, Inglot um, foundation stick in 111 and just contouring airwear it's quite a long contour Rachel um, oh yeah also if there's any places like in Vegas or LA that you think I should go to please let me know because I would love to just make the most out of it the reason I'm going to LA for four days then is because like everything's kind of far away from each other and I want to have kind of feel more of the like lifestyle of it like just go out to eat and places like that rather than go mad in Vegas plus I go with my dad neither of us drink and I'm 19 so I won't get into like a poop party or anything and I'm not letting him go to one so <laughs> um yeah that's what I'm just gonna blend that in everywhere and this is I'm just gonna use my Zoeva 110 brush then that is everything on again it does look that bit paler um, and you just concealer wise like it did blend really well um but it like wouldn't be my favorite like it is creasing i know i don't have any powder on or anything but it is creasing a little bit under my eyes and it's kind of separating on my eyes here as well um not my favorite can kind of I don't know if you guys can see but it's just kind of separating and on my eyes as well um it's quite thick um which I don't mind um but not if it separates like this so the next thing that I'm going to try is the Charlotte Tilbury um airbrush flawless finish um in 02 so this is meant to be a really good powder. I was debating over getting the Huda Beauty or this one. And I decided to go for this one. So we'll just be trying that now. Taking also a little bit with my beauty blender. So you can see there is quite a lot of product on that. So that's probably like the best powder that I've tried like to date. Um, I always find that a lot of them are just really cakey around here and they kind of like separate. Whereas this one doesn't and I really like it. So I'm so happy with that purchase. Um, just for a bronzer, I'm just going to be using these two shades from the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light Powder Contour Palette. Um, just these two here and I'm just going to be mixing them together. And then I'm just going to apply it all around. So I always go kind of in circular motion before I even get to my face. That way when you do apply it onto your face, it's a lot more even. Sometimes if you just plonk it on and then start sweating, you get like this kind of just like dent <laughs> of product. Smaller brush. This is just a random brush that I have. And just take these two shades again and just along the nose, just kind of filling that in. So keeping the inner edge really sharp and kind of just blending it out then at the sides. So really sharp along here 
um, and then just blend it out at the sides. I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. Literally cannot live without this product. It just kind of, I always use a bronzer underneath. And then I use this on top as like an extra. And it's always like darker than all of my other bronzers. So I like to have two. I cannot do just one bronzer. I don't know why. I think it just gives more like tone, like more different um, shades to your skin. Like more different. So I just did my brows and um, I just used the MAC Deep Dark Brunette Brow Gel which I use all the time and then I used my NYX um, Tinted Brow Mascara as well and that is in the shade Espresso. So now on to the eyes, we're just going to get started and I'm going to use Brewell from MAC. It's just like this cream colour and I'm just going to literally just apply that all over and this is the Zoeva 231 brush all over the lid and that's just also going to mattify down any of the creases from that concealer um my be perfect lmd palette i'm just going to take the contour shade um which is meant for actual like contouring and use that as a crease color quite like pigmented these shadows um and i just want a small amount just in the crease like so um it's not blended out yet and I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush and just blend that out. Like I just want something really subtle, but still just to have something there for definition. I'm just going to pop on the So Me New York Lash. Cool. So I have the glue applied to the lashes. I'm just going to be popping those on. And just zigzagging it so the glue is all over my lash line and do that with both and then take them off and I'm going to go ahead and do my freckles while that is drying. Now for the freckles I'm going to be taking the shade Coco from the LMD palette and we're just going to try this shade and see how it works. Tap off the excess and this is a really small definer brush. Um, I believe this is actually just from Deals like the pound store. Um, and it's for doing your nails, so a nail art brush, <laughs> that's what you call it. So I'm going to be starting just from the inner, yeah, okay, I like that colour. I'm just going to be starting from my nose area and then I'll just work my way out. So I'll just zoom you guys and just make the small little ones. I want them kind of more so along just here. Okay, okay. So just pressing them really gently and like the first one or two you can have kind of your more like prominent <laughs> freckles and then as uh, the colour fades on them they'll just go and I'm just going to bring them up a little bit um, towards the eye and kind of out here here as well out your ear and um, out here at the sides but predominantly like that's when you wear it now I'm going to be going back and putting on my lashes and make sure that the bend in them is gone as well. So we'll just kind of bend them at the sides. Just applying that as close to the lash line as possible. Let them dry in and I'm going to go and do the lips. Says, yeah. Beverly Hills lipstick, which I haven't even used it. I'm so excited. Um, I have no lip liner for it, but I'm just going to apply this anyways because it's a liquid lipstick. I find that you don't even need a lip liner. And that is the lipstick. I love it so much. I'm actually obsessed. Now I'm just going to be using my Essence Lash Princess Mascara, which is a new one I've been trying out. Really, really like it. Um, honestly, I've tried the Essence ones before and I didn't like them at all. They took forever to dry and just weren't comparable at all to some of my more high-end ones. Like, I tried...
my god, I love it. I love this look. Like, it's literally on my face. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more, like, freckles because I don't feel like that's enough. Um, I feel like some more darker ones could really help amp it up a little bit. <laughs> it's going to be using this. Um, so I'm using it from the LMD palette. It is just the highlighter in it here. And then I'm also going to be taking the My Clarins Mist. This is the best thing ever to mix and use with a highlighter. With any of the other setting sprays or anything, just do not compare to it at all. So I'm just going to be applying that. And then just I always bring it up onto the forehead as well. Um, just at the sides. Hey guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was simple, but it was, I just wanted to try a few different stuff, different techniques like the freckles and crazy lip, which I haven't done in so long. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm getting more comfortable with this. Um, just bear with me. And yeah, any other videos you want to see, um, whether that's fitness, vlogs, makeup, lifestyle, advice, anything, just let me know. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was something different. Um, have an amazing day and if you're having a bad day today just know that there is so many more beautiful days to come and yeah i'll see you in my next video